my story is that, you know, I've always been very outgoing. I've always loved people. I've, you know, I've always been joyous, a joyous person and like to have fun. But I always felt that I lacked. Mm-hmm. I never felt that I measured up. But for me, I just felt like I didn't. I wasn't lovable enough that I wasn't smart enough that I mm-hmm. didn't. And so I I allowed those things to eat at me until mm-hmm. I was very depressed. Mm-hmm. And I got in my early 20s and depleted all of my serotonin. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and all the other things that I needed in order to function. And I just, and I didn't know how I'd gotten there at at that time. And I didn't know how in the world to get out. I knew what I was supposed to act like as a Christian, Mm -hmm. what I was supposed to look like, you know, the picture that's painted. But I couldn't find those things Mm -hmm. except for in really small doses and when we were on stage but God showed me through going to Christian counseling I was able to understand what I was dealing with with depression and that for me it's a chemical imbalance and having to get to a point of not only surrendering you know I wanted God to be the Lord of my life but realizing that I had to have help yeah Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. that I couldn't walk I couldn't do this by myself, but I had to go to a doctor and I had to go to a counselor and I had to, you know, really take Mm -hmm. care of myself because I thought pride was just being conceited. Right. You know, that's Mm -hmm. the only side of pride that I (laughs) thought was bad. Right. But not trusting God enough, not saying, you know, being too down on myself. That's right. That's That's another form of pride and saying that God, what you made was not good enough. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my testimony wow. is to, even though that I lack, mm-hmm. even though I don't measure right. up, that I'm, I'm enough because God, yeah. God decided, God <laughs> made this right. wow. and I'm enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's worked even that together. Yes. For your good. Yes. Even though he didn't say everything is going to be good. Right. He said he worked it all together. For Every you. bit right. of it. Yeah. You know, what's so crazy is this, this. <laughs> It's just a resounding, we are nothing without him. (laughs) You know, we need Christ so badly in our lives. You know, I don't even have a gift to to lean on. I don't have a, and sometimes I think, man, if I did have a gift, I'd probably just be a hot, hot, crazy mess. (laughs) You don't have, you know, gifts from the outside looking in to lean on, but I'm glad you don't trust in them, but you do have plans. But you're you're sweet, sister. You really do. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Thank you, Nicole. But seriously, I don't have a a big gift of communication or Mm -hmm. big gift of singing or a big Mm -hmm. gift. And so, so I have to trust God. If I'm going to say anything that blesses anybody right. wow. or that ministers to anybody, yeah. it has, has to be to the be. Lord because yeah. I have nothing else to yeah. rely on. Wow. <laughs> I do feel the same. You know, yeah. my um, sister's four years older, almost the same difference as y'all. Only I don't look as young as y'all. My sister <laughs> does. But um, my sister's a really, really gifted classical musician and went to Juilliard. And so oh. people would come over to our house when I was growing up. And we would, did y'all have formal living rooms? Do y'all remember the difference between formal and we oh, had avocado, green, shag, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> we had a, a grand piano in the, in the living room. My sister would sit down and play. And it was just always amazing. Yeah. Always amazing. And then inevitably it'd be like, well, Lisa, what, what you, you do? do? It's like, <laughs> I'm cute. I can run around the house real fast. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, do, like, I could do tricks from diving boards. That's it. I, I couldn't, I didn't have a marketable <laughs> gift and so I and then the more I kept going to church I've been in church since in utero but I got the message nobody ever said this to me but in order to make God more I had to make myself less Mm -hmm. and that's where I thought humility was I Mm -hmm. thought humility was thinking of myself as Mm -hmm. low and raggedy and and Mm -hmm. and there is there is certainly that element of recognizing we can't make it by ourselves. That yeah. necessity of neediness of, you know, Jesus with the the paralytic yes. who had to say, I can't, I can't drive myself well. I can't mm-hmm. make myself well. Mm-hmm. So I think we do have to recognize our needy state apart from Jesus. Right. But I already knew Jesus yeah. and kept dumbing myself down. Yes. Wow. And I think to recognize he delights in me. I knew he had delivered me mm-hmm. as as much as I could know mm-hmm. as a as a kid and young woman, but I just didn't think he grinned. 
when he saw me. I yeah. thought he had kind of lowered the bar yeah. to let me in. And I spent so many years trying to earn mm. favor, even though I would tell you the right theology about yes. salvation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I still thought he has to be disappointed because I'm not as shiny as Nicole or as sweet as mm-hmm. Lori or, you know, you yeah. just sure can't wear leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like ducks are yes, being killed if I wore leather pants. <laughs> but, but, you know, I just kept making myself less instead of going, humility is actually standing up straight, mm-hmm. yes, right? Stand up straight and looking into his countenance and going, he loves me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.